more companies are realizing that um, we have to keep our employees upbeat and entertained and motivated. And um, and I think more people just want to laugh. It, it goes back to it goes back to the depression, Mark. I mean, in the Great Depression, they say that the one uh, industry that made money during the 1930s, in the when nobody had any money, was movie theaters. Mm, mm. People still went to see movies, and mm. they they did that because they wanted to escape. Mm. They wanted to escape the reality. Mm. And I feel that's a little bit of what's happening now. COVID-19 is not funny. I, I'm not going to make jokes about a disease that has claimed, you know, over a hundred thousand lives just in this country alone. And where it's more and more likely every show that somebody on that call, on that virtual call, either knows somebody who's had it, has had it, knows somebody who's passed away from it. It's not a funny subject. However, uh, a lot of the things that we're doing as a result of the quarantine are funny. Uh, whether it's homeschooling your kids, whether it's learning how to cook again, whether it's having these Zoom calls all the time and having your dog bark and your baby cry and your and your wife walk into the room and say, what are you doing? I thought this was an hour later. Uh, you know, <laughs> that kind of thing. So those are the kind of things you have to laugh at. And, and that's, that's what I try to convey to my audiences. You've now gone to overnight a global audience, right? Potential. You, you, you've gone yeah, from. I mean, I'm, I'm reaching out now to like event planners in the UK and to Europe because to me now the, the, there's no rules. 